Brandon, it works. Okay, I've been working a bunch and kind of in my feels over some stuff. Just, oh, and my wife had surgery. That's a big one. Uh, um, for those of you interested, my wife is fine. She's doing great. Um, she feels better now than she has for the last eight months. Um, so she's doing really, really well. The surgery, um, she had her gallbladder taken out. Um, it was causing her a bunch of trouble. No trouble whatsoever. Everything went perfectly. Everything's fine. Everything's great now. So back to the video now. So I haven't been able to get out here and work and I've been waiting on parts to come in and parts have finally come in and everything. So, um, I have got the thing to turn over with the key. I'm going to show you how I did that. We just got out here and did it one day. Um, it was very simple. Um, so uh, let's get right into that, shall we? Okay, so that's the battery out of the Dakota. I bought a um, battery cable builder set for $65 off of, uh, it was either Jags or Summit. And it came with these ends already on it. And then, uh, By the, sorry, I still live by the highway. So, my buddy Brandon went and got a uh, cable crimper because he needed one anyway. And I cut these to length and screwed that one onto that uh, lug. Um, and then I put the other one right down where the old stock ground was, which is the bolt that holds the starter to the engine. Um, Thanks to the recommendation we got on Facebook, I was able to track down a whole new lock cylinder set that came with the whole ignition setup, and then it's re—it's got the rekeyed stuff for the glove box door, the uh, both front doors and the tailgate. So I'll have all matching keys, and I'll have two keys. I've only had one up to this point. And so I put a Deutsch connector in on two of these wires. One gets power from the battery to the switch. And then when you turn the switch to the start position, you get noises. I'll go around to the other side to show you. But a uh, random, this is a four pin connector and I might end up bumping it down to a two pin and splitting off power differently because the other two sets of power what the other two sets of power that come off of this are uh accessory and on so uh power on is what's going to control the ecu so we're just gonna have to play it by ear and then i put some, some little convoluted tubing on it made it kind of long where i could tuck it up here out of the way Ran it through that grommet, but that grommet I learned is actually right in line with this, and it's the um, the hood release. So I'm gonna have to move that. And so this is where your power comes from. It goes through the firewall into the switch. When you turn the key and hit, turn it all the way over to run, it sends a signal through the yellow wire to the little post on the starter. Uh, which bridges the connection between the big power and the ground starting the engine. Uh, and it won't start and run because um, I don't have anything on it yet. What I've been working on today is getting my DIY auto-tune trigger wheel kind of mounted. Um, I've been testing it a little bit. You can see I've got some bailing wire it's only about a mil, a mil and a half away. Um, I'm trying to, I'm trying to get, get this thing to where I can mount this, uh, where'd it go? This hall sensor here. Um, and, uh, I don't know. I'm, the, I'm having some struggle, some, some, some internal struggles. Cause if you look, 
all that is is uh, four of those little all thread nuts they're like an inch long um, and then I just went and bought some longer bolts and I mean it all goes in there and tightens up and I've been twisting on this thing I'll show you and like at a mil and a half it does not contact leads me to assume that we're probably in the clear. I just, I don't know how I feel about this. I think if I keep it permanent, I'm going to pull it back apart. I'm going to go redundancy. I'm going to go uh, blue Loctite and lock washers on this. I had to go buy new lock washers for this fan because I lost one and I like continuity so I bought four. They were like, you know, 12 cents a piece or whatever. Um, I also pulled some stuff out of the engine bay. Uh, the charcoal canister that was here. Just, you know, these two bolts. Um, some EGR stuff. Some brackets that held the EGR stuff. Sorry about my finger. Some brackets that held the EGR stuff. Uh, I've got to make a block off plate because I'm deleting the distributor entirely. I was going to do like an EGR block off plate, but I can't find where the EGR valve is. This thing, whatever this is, is part of the intake manifold. So I can't really do anything with that. Uh, I am going to pull that sensor out and plug it uh, at some point. I want to say this sensor... And where is it? This sensor have to come out. Uh, this one down here is oil pressure. And this one up here is coolant temp. They are British standard pipe thread, come to find out. So I ordered some NPT, some national pipe thread taps so that I can put GM sensors in uh, and I hope I got the right stuff um, I'm, I'm just I'm spitballing this whole thing uh, people are either very willing to help or very unwilling to help and it's frustrating but yeah that's that's really all I've gotten done that's all I've been doing I've got a couple more I gotta I'm gonna go buy some more vacuum line plugs and finish getting this off. I don't want to leave this system open like that. Um, so every time I cut something, I try and plug it. But uh, I'll end up taking... I think I'm going to take that out and just put a single barb. I got to find out what all needs vacuum. When I'm done, hopefully not many things will need vacuum. So, uh, this is a short one, just an update. I think I'm pretty much done. I'm going to probably go inside, clean up a little bit, and uh, put some Deutsch plugs on some, uh, like my, my, where'd it go? That sensor. Um, I've got my engine oil pressure and my coolant temp sensor. Uh, I've got my map sensor, a GM map sensor. So just putting plugs on. I ran out of Deutsch, or running out of Deutsch plugs. So I ordered some more. They're on the way. I got some tap magic on the way to make tapping the sensor holes a little bit cleaner. Um, I don't know if I'm going to stick with my, uh, um, my trigger wheel set up yet. I don't, it's not even, it's not even clocked the way it's supposed to be it's just on there for proof of concept right now i might i don't know man i'm struggling i've got the piece drawn up here i can show you i know i need to shave i don't want to hear it okay so pretend this is perfectly round um, 62 mil wide that fits down inside the crank pulley 
Um, these holes centers are 46.9 millimeters apart. They're six millimeter holes. They might have to go up to like six and a half mil to accommodate for that fat shank on those bolts that I bought today. Um, it's four, 46.9 on four bolt pattern, essentially. This hole is 32 millimeters across. If you look at it from the side, where this hole is here, uh, is a big negative space because it's got that center crank bolt that sticks up in here. This is the flat mating surface here and here that butt up right against the um, the interior of the crank pulley. I wish I had a video of that thing. I might I might take it back out here in a little bit and give the video. But this whole thing will be 28.5 millimeters because this little stick out is three millimeters deep and that's for the uh there's a there's a hole right in the center of the um the new trigger wheel and i want it to sit on that and locate and center itself so this hole is 18 mil deep this is this puck here to here is 25.5 mil deep this little dude is three millimeters deep and 12.75 mil wide and then here's my 32 reference here from here and then my 62 reference here from here like like edge to edge so uh that's what i'm looking at i'm just trying to find somebody that won't charge me you know a freaking thousand dollars to make the thing uh, i haven't got any quotes yet that's not you know an accurate number but I'm not made of money, all right? I only build classified things for the military, all right? I don't make that much money. Pretty broke. And I'm sweaty. But uh, this is a short one, like I said. Um, I'm just gonna go inside and put some uh, connectors on some sensors and call it a day. Uh, I've got a five-day weekend for Memorial Day, but my birthday is on Sunday, and then we're going to Little Rock on Friday. So I'm going to be able to, like, work on it, not work on it, work on it, not work on it, work on it. So, and that is if we don't do anything Monday. So we'll, we'll see. Um, oh, I guess I could get out here and uh, put some connectors on. Here's the throttle position sensor here. I'm using that. And then here's the injector driver here. And I think that's all. Oh. And um, I think I'm just going to order a, uh, a wideband O2 to go in. Focus. 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 There we go. I'm going to order a wideband O2 for right here. Um. This is, I think this is just a warning light for like low brake fluid. I'm gonna see if I can get that going. Um, this goes away, it's part of the distributor. This goes away, it's part, whoop, hang on. This goes away, it's part of the distributor. This goes away, it's part of the distributor. There was another plug. So, oh, the, where'd it go? Here's a pin that I'm not real sure what does, like a blade. There's one back here somewhere. We already covered this. There's one. I thought there was one more. Maybe I'm just crazy. That, that would track. That tracks. Oh, here it is. I don't know what this, I think this is just a warning light for something. Uh, so that's going to go bye-bye. Um, so I'm going to go in. I guess I can edit this video and post it as well. But uh, that's all I've got going on um, here as of recent. Uh, you know, thanks for, thanks for sticking around for two or three months while I haven't posted anything. And uh, drop a like, drop a comment share the video it helps a lot I do check the progress of the channel and the videos every now and again and uh, you know kind of gauge interest off of that 
Um, but like I said, I am working a ton right now. Um, so bear with me. This, this, I'm not done with this. This, this will get more stuff done to it. So in the meantime, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. I keep cutting off the top of my head. Uh, thanks. Bye. Okay. Uh, I, I, we're just doing this. Um, we've already done the work. Uh, you could look up on YouTube how to, how to, how to make battery cables and hook this stuff up. Uh, we're looking for it to turn over right now. Brandon, it works. Let's go.